In this video, we are going to discuss about autocorrelation function of power, uh, power signal. That means, we are going to deal a problem related to autocorrelation function of a power signal. So, in the last class, we considered the uh, problem related to autocorrelation function of energy signal. There, I discussed with you about uh, two shortcuts for gate. If you are having energy signal, please go for convolution property and you just uh, consider or you just solve the problem in frequency domain again you just convert into time domain that means so you just apply convolution property of your autocorrelation function and after that consider Fourier transform for autocorrelation function after that you can consider inverse Fourier transform of that spectrum so you will get autocorrelation function again so for this you can uh, uh, you can see my last video, previous video, autocorrelation function of energy signal, problem related to autocorrelation function of energy signal. Here we are going to deal a problem, this is related to power signal, we are going to consider autocorrelation function of power signal. Whenever autocorrelation function of power signal uh, is given to calculate, definitely we need to go for integration only, do not go for, do not waste time. Uh, for uh, by taking that process of convolution which you taken for that energy signal. Now just go for normal integration process. So x of t or r of tau. So autocorrelation function of your power signal is indicated with r of tau. r of tau is equivalent to limit t tending to infinity 1 by t integral minus t by 2 to t by 2 x of t x of t minus tau dt. This is your autocorrelation function formula to calculate for power signal. So, now the given power signal, all periodic signals are power signals. So, that signal is having some uh, period. So, so, definitely if that is a periodic signal, definitely that can be considered as power signal. So, for power signal, general process you need to consider. So, this is the autocorrelation function of power signal. This I already discussed in autocorrelation function of power signals topic. So, this is the equation for autocorrelation function of power signal. In this, I am going to substitute that um, formula. That means, t tending to infinity 1 by t integral minus t by 2 t by 2. So, in x of t place, I am substituting 6 cos 6 pi t plus pi by 3. This what I am going to substitute. Next, so I need to substitute x of t minus tau. So, x of t minus tau means in place of t, just imagine t minus tau, that is it. So, if you consider t minus tau here, you will get 6 pi into t, 6 pi into tau. So, like that I am writing 6 cos, 6 cos. So, in angle, so that is equal to 6 pi t minus 6 pi tau. So, because 6 pi into t minus tau is there. So, here remaining is pi by 3. So, here I am writing 6 pi t minus 6 pi tau plus pi by 3 into dt. So, I substituted both x of t and x of t minus tau. Now, you can see, so I am just taking this out 6 into 6. So, 36. So, limit t tending to infinity that is 36 by t integral minus t by 2 to t by 2 remaining you are having cos a into cos b form cos a into cos b form. So, I can write this cos a cos b as cos a plus b plus cos a minus b divided by 2. So, here I am writing that cos a plus b cos a plus b means 6 pi t 6 pi t 12 pi t minus 6 pi tau pi by 3 plus pi by 3 2 pi by 3 cos a plus b is over now i am writing cos a minus b 6 pi t plus pi by 3 6 pi t plus pi by 3 gets cancelled and minus of minus you will get cos of 6 pi tau only cos of 6 pi tau will be remain after taking a minus b all these are a this is b if you consider a minus b, you are going to get cos 6 pi tau only. Remaining 6 pi t and pi by 3 are going to cancel. So, divided by 2 dt. So, now you can see 2 18 36. 
and now here I want to consider integration before getting into integration you can observe here you are having plus 2 pi by 3. So plus 2 pi by 3 means it will become sin sin n pi plus theta you will get minus 1 whole power n like that. So if you consider integration also that is going to vanish I am neglecting this term why because that is equivalent to minus 1 whole power n sin n pi plus theta something you are going to get that is equivalent to minus 1 whole power uh, n. So that value is very small value constant value so I am neglecting that. So remaining value is cos 6 pi tau dt that is it we are having. So you can see this is in terms of t but this is in terms of tau. So this is also considered as constant. So I am writing like this limit t tending to infinity 18 by t. So cos 6 pi tau I am taking it out and integral minus t by 2 to t by 2 I am considering 1 dt as I consider outside I am neglecting this because this is nearly equivalent to 0. So that is why I am uh, neglecting this term. So here is cos 6 pi tau integral minus t by 2 to t by 2 1 dt is there. So for this 1 dt I am considering integration t tending to infinity 18 by t cos 6 pi tau. So if I consider integration you will get t minus t by 2 to t by 2. So that is equivalent to limit t tending to infinity. So 18 by t cos 6 pi tau. So if I substituted t by 2 minus of minus t by 2 I will get into t. So into t by t will get cancelled is there uh, there is no other t terms here. So limit t tending to infinity is going to vanish because we are not having any other t terms. So finally this is r of tau. So therefore your autocorrelation function r of tau is equivalent to 18 cos 6 pi tau. So this is your autocorrelation function 18 cos 6 pi tau always autocorrelation function they will mention in terms of tau in options. For example, by mistake if you return t also you just correct and you can opt for tau. So r of tau is equivalent to 18 cos 6 pi tau. This is your autocorrelation function. They are not only asking autocorrelation function, they are asking what is the power in this signal. If you are having autocorrelation function in your hand, then definitely you can go for power of your signal. So how you can find out the power of signal means so whenever you are having r of 0 that means autocorrelation function at tau is equal to 0 is nothing but total power of the signal. If your signal is power signal then the autocorrelation function at t is equivalent to or tau is equivalent to 0 is called as power of the signal. This is one of the properties of autocorrelation function of power signal. So I am applying that property if you consider r of 0 then whatever value you are getting that is equivalent to total power of the signal. So here r of 0 is equivalent to 18 cos 6 pi into 0 means cos 0 cos 0 is equivalent to 1. So 18 watts will be the power of signal this signal will be like this. So as that is cos signal the signal will be like this it will start at 90 degrees. So it is from 18 to minus 18. So the autocorrelation function of this signal is equivalent to 18 cos 6 pi tau and here you will get your power of the signal as 80 watts. So here you can use V maximum by root 2 concept also. Here V maximum is equivalent to 6 v maximum is equivalent to 6, v rms is equivalent to v maximum by root 2 and is equivalent to 6 by root 2. So power is equivalent to v rms square then 6 square by 2. So 36 by 2 you are going to get same. So here 2 1s to 18s you are going to get 18 like this also you can get power of the signal. So here this is amplitude of the signal or 
maximum voltage of the signal so that is equivalent to 6 so we are having v rms root mean square value of that voltage is equivalent to v maximum by root 2 6 by root 2 we are having another formula to calculate power that is v rms square that is 6 square by 2 36 by 2 and that is equivalent to 18 watts like this also we can calculate as I am having autocorrelation in my hand and I know the property of autocorrelation function, one of the uh, property of autocorrelation function to calculate power is autocorrelation function at a tau is equal to 0 is nothing but so total power of the signal. So I use it this here but you can also use this formula.